And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris and I've got my smart glasses on this morning because I am feeling smart right now. Yes, indeed. And I'm going to give you my take on the markets here. Whether you like it or not, sir, I am going to do that right now. We're going to go over a bunch of different assets. NASDAQ S&P. Uh, we'll take a look at the VIX, Dixie, Tether, Bitcoin Dominance, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and maybe some of your favorite altcoins, including Cardano and XR Rec coin, XRPP coin, like we like to call it. And um, let's jump right into it. And I'm going to check in on a BNB. We'll take a look at some of the liquidation levels, but first, let's take a, the, let's take a look at the results from the Fed meeting yesterday, the dot plot says seven Fed members said no rate hike by the end of the year and 12 of them say we're probably going to get another quarter percent. Powell emphasized commitment to trimming its balance sheet, which will temper the economy by withdrawing liquidity. What else did Fed say, uh, Pal? He said, and I thought this was the best quote of the whole thing. He said, guess what? He said, <clears throat> when people look back on this, nobody will ever think we had a plan. Are you kidding me? You didn't have a plan, Fed pal. If I can only see the CME rate hike tool, and you can see now, I think we flip-flopped uh, for the next Fed meeting coming up in, I think it's November. What, maybe we do an October breathtaker here, and 71% uh, chance... No rate high, 28%. I do believe that'll flip even more, and I've been saying it all along. Dude, inflation is not going down. Are you guys crazy? Like, what are you talking about? Inflation going down. Inflation ain't going down. Uh, we did talk about, uh, well, mainly, mainly this guy right here, Mr. S&P. And we did say, hey, look, on the daily time frame, <clears throat> Any kind of a closure below the green 55, very, very likely going to bring us back to the bottom side of the range and probably going to head down to the box of peace and prosperity or death and despair. Bit of an M formation. And as long as now we are below this high, well, it is going to be a uh, bear time, bear time. And what's happening? The VIX popping up above the box of peace and prosperity and death and despair and Yes, um, for this one, it's kind of the opposite, but notice a big gap down here. So do we wick up to the 200 and then get rejected? Could provide some relief for us there. So NASDAQ coming down hard, coming down hard, nice double top and kind of sloppy M formation, but I'd be targeting, you know, at least the, ro the lows there. What else is going on here? Uh, Dixie is taking a major uh, leg up. And doing what we said it was going to do. In fact, uh, peace and prosperity and death and despair, right? So peace and prosperity is going to be below the box on this one, right? So we want the dollar to go down, risk assets to go up. I would expect a rejection on the first pass at this level. As the dollar goes up, all the other currencies probably going down. And what else do I want to bring up here? We said Dixie, we're going to talk about. And where's the invalidation of the move? I mean, we just, did we quite take out that high yet? We will have some bearish divergence if we do not close above or wick above here. So what is bearish divergence? Price is making uh, higher highs. The RSI is making a lower high. So we don't have it coming from that pivot, but we will have it coming all the way back from this guy right here, multiple drives, one, two, three, four. And how do you confirm this as a local high? In my opinion, a closure back below this level should do it for me. But more conservative traders are going to wait for that green 55. You do confirm that as a local high. I do it. Imagine we come back and, tr you know, give this 10 line, this 10 line, these 10 a little trust. Can't even speak this morning. I've been up so early because I was so excited to come in and get some of these bots going, man. Uh, what an interesting forte. Anyways, I am going to bring up 
the next chart here. Total market cap, looking bearish, getting rejected off the green 55. Tether dominance, taking a rocket ship up to the moon. And uh, what does that mean? Well, another higher low, another higher low. If we do confirm this as a higher low at a minimum, I'm looking for trend continuation. What does that mean? Let the trend be your friend till the end of the trend, higher high, right? So where are we gonna target a move, a continuation drive off of this play? Now, it, here's where your warning sign would be for tether dominance. So weak bounces up to the 382, strong bounces up to the 618. If we hit the 618, close back below the 382, that'd be your, oh, please, please, my altcoins, my altcoins will start to go back up. Just, a, just an opinion here. Bitcoin dominance, uh, we did say, uh, likely to take a leg up. Why? Well, a bit of a bull flag here. Where's the measure move off of this bull flag? Why do they call it a bull flag? Well, bull flags are more likely to break out to the upside. Call it a bull flaggy, whatever you want to call it. But the measure move off of something like that is going to be like this. And boom. Right in line with what we would call the probably not 0.5. And that's been kind of our target. And given us the you know, bias that Bitcoin is going to continue to rule the markets. Bitcoin, all right, let's get into our favorite foe here. And I did say yesterday, I think, uh, based on the rejection on the green 55, looks like it wants to take a leg and test this trend line. So if we do confirm this as a local high today by closing below that wick, well, in my opinion, and really more conservative traders are going to wait for a closure below here, 26,164. If that does happen, uh, then where are the moves likely to take place? Well, I, I do think we are going to gun for at least the 0.5 at 261, call it 26,183. Second target, 25,923. Somewhere in that area. Let's give us a nice little box of peace and prosperity and death and despair. Maybe I should come up with a new name for the box. But that is what I have right now. Um, and <clears throat> how can we confirm that bias? Well, 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 well. If you're part of our Discord community, our traders group, uh, you would know, by the way, you can join right now for free. For a limited time, you can join for free Bitcoin 101, how to stack stats using technical analysis, get the full VIP access and learn how to trade like a pro. Uh, here's a nice little video of me explaining what you're going to get with the course. Welcome to Crypt Courses Free and how does it work? Why does it work? Et cetera, et cetera. I highly recommend you check it out. All right. So if you're part of our Discord community, you would know that one of our signals that we're, and we're not trading off the daily time frame, but um, it does apply to the daily as well. So when the stochastic, the momentum indicator crosses down from between a 60, what do we call it? 60 and a 90, 60 and a 90, 60 and a 90. When we cross down on the stochastic from a high level, I would actually raise this up a bit more, right? Um, alongside volatility expansion, right? How do we define expansion above 25%? Volatility expansion implies what? Well, I will tell you exactly what it implies. It ex implies the price to Go expanding in the direction of the trend. What else do we have here? What else do we have here? I'm willing to bet. Bearish divergence. Bearish divergence. What is bearish divergence? Price is making lower high. RSI making higher high. And is that price is making higher high. RSI is making a lower high. This is classic bearish divergence. The two drive variety. And what does that get you? What does that get you? Well, um... Typically, the two drive variety. Let's see if we got three drives. Do we got three? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. No, that's two. One, two. Coming back from this pit. You know, some people would call it three, right? 
three drives at the bottom side of the range and boom. Oh, sorry to say it guys, but back below this box, we're gonna revisit the uh, bottom side of the range. We need the dollar to get shafted and uh, with yesterday's announcement, Powell saying, you know, essentially he said, we're gonna spank the market. We are gonna give the market a little spanking. And here was the funny quote of the day. He said, nobody's gonna look back at this and say, we had a plan, right? I mean, how foolish is this? Like, who's running in the government? That's why you should own Bitcoin, sirs and sirs. He said, sustained higher energy prices can affect consumer expectations. What is he talking about? Inflation expectations. Yes, he is. What does that mean? What does that mean? Inflation expectations. Inflation expectations means, I don't know, people think inflation is going to continue higher for longer so they don't spend money and really the economy takes a dump. Let's take a look. At, by the way, guys, I got nailed on this gold trade. It was a levered gold trade. I was trying a new exchange and I didn't know what the buttons meant and smoked, liquidated. But I'm going to say target still in place here for a nice move down to the range low of 1888. And uh, especially when you start to see this thing cross back down below 1908. 1908, momentum flips back to the downside. This is an M formation. Price will go down on gold. Bet your lucky socks, sir. Your gold nuggets, I mean, come on. We're talking about $20 an ounce, right? Uh, who cares if you're a long-term hodler? But falling channels tend to work out. They do, those falling channels. So where could the potential measure move bring us down all the way down to 1800 bucks bottom side of the range is the first target for gold how's my silver rocks doing oh we're dancing around we're dancing around we're still flying in the pennant here and if we do break if we do take a kit kat break here off of this guy and i'm going to wrap this up here quick because you guys are probably bored you're probably tired of hearing my voice and i'm tired of hearing my voice and i've got a ton of things to do today if this does break to the downside, you're going to look at a move at 21.12. 21.12, okay. Next up, next up, next up. Man, these exchanges are tough, guys. It, this market is designed to steal your money. They don't care about you. The customer service is awful. Awful. BitGet, boo. Horrible. Vote down. Don't go there. Don't use our referral link. Awful dogs, little doggies at BitGet. It's like, you know, you know somebody on the other end of the customer service. It's not even a phone call, right? You can't talk to anybody. Oh, they're typing. They're asking ChatGBT how to answer you. And they don't speak English, period. No offense, right? They, they, they're, they're not, English is not their primary language. And I have nothing against that. I don't care what your English is like. But if you give me good customer service, that's what I care about. And their dog doo doo. So is KuCoin. So is Coinbase. All dog doo doo. Doggy doo. Anyways, on a more positive note, let's let's talk about what we're using our faith for. And what I'm using for my faith for is a trading bot that nets us 10% a day. 10% a day keeps the doctor away. So um, be looking for that soon. And um, anyways, economic growth is expected to decelerate to one and a half percent in 2024, following 2.1 in 2023, following the 2.1 in 2023. So 2024, one and a half percent growth. That doesn't look good. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, Shiba Inu coin, Shiba Inu. Going to fill out that wick. Might as well drop your Shiba coins off at the doggy store. Uh, treasury bonds are going up. No wonder. Stocks are going down. 
What other coins? XLM, XRP, dump them in the toilet. Luna, almost back down to where it, oh, not quite. Whoa, got to fill in that wick down here. I don't know how it got that low. Um, checking out Akasha Network here and uh, doing a little personal request on this one. Beginning to get the silver cross to the downside. Um, that would be a bearish signal, right? Just look at the last silver cross to the downside, led to some downside, but then popped up. As long as though the, and to be fair, the second cross down is usually a little bit stronger than the first one. But also to be fair, it hasn't crossed down yet. And we are coming into probably what's going to be some kind of a bounce area. And I would expect a bounce on the first pass off the purple 200. Um, what else can I say here? Uh, the full retrace would be down to about 60 cents, right? Targeting this little blue node candle, whatever you want to call it, this little pivot right here. That is the bull wick as well. So that's your emergency. Might not want to own this one anymore. Now, to be fair, Tika Tawari pumping this coin, probably um, holding, you know, probably took some profits, right? But these kind of assets that do pump like this, what you want to see is bearish divergence, at least of the two drive variety. At least two drives. And you only got one. So could pop up one more time and then dump it off. Depends. Whatever Bitcoin does from here, guys, that one's probably going to do a little bit more, a little bit more. That's what I would say. And what else do I want to bring up here? I think I am just going to get out of this other position. Huh. <sighs> Getting out. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. Come back tomorrow. Smash the like button. Join the Discord. And have a awesome, awesome day. Take care.